Hey, my name's Nico. I'm a freelance videographer and I run my own productions out of my beautiful office space in Berlin, Germany. It's a home office. Have you gone through an edit where you're editing, the clients ask you to do some changes, you've edited four more hours than you've budgeted for, you're just feeling pissy and angry and resentment towards the project, the client. Something that was really awesome has now turned into something painful. I can assure you now that if you learn how to communicate very clearly upfront with the client, that revisions can actually be used for your advantage financially. You will not be at a loss for doing revisions, which I'll get into later. I wish I could have shared this to my younger self so I could navigate these frustrating moments and not be stuck in these editing revision ruts. If this is a new client to you, assume they do not know how to do anything with videos. Ask them politely whether they've done it before, but most of the time assume they do not know how to do a campaign and walk them through your customer journey, your client process, how you're gonna take them from the start to the end of this project. I spoke recently to Doc Martens, the main point of contact I have with Doc Martens, and she said to me that she was super stoked when I sent this document over. It showed extremely clearly how we were gonna to work together, and quite frankly, it communicated the process of how we would tackle this project. A lot of people obviously engage with freelancers, and a lot of times it's last minute, uh, someone's just come on the job, but it's always super good to just communicate super clear how you're gonna work with them and how you want to work with them, because you're therefore setting the expectations with the client. So after you've secured the project, this is when you wanna send these kinds of things. I'm gonna load it up now, and then we can take a look through it and I can show you what kind of things are inside of it. It's super simple. It's taken from other smart people's customer journeys and I've adapted them to my own because quite frankly, I didn't know any of this shit and I just had to learn it from other businesses or other people doing videography business. It's pretty generic, pretty simple. We have here the client process, customer journey, whatever you wanna call it. Number one. The creative meeting. At this stage, we figure out the goal of the video and brainstorm creative ideas. This is where we establish a time frame for the project, shooting dates and delivery dates. So this is where I speak to the client and I say, hey, what is the deadline? Let's establish the kind of workflow for the post-production of this project. Oftentimes that post-production is between one week to two weeks to three weeks, depending on the size of the project. Number two, after we decide on the general concept, we'll begin writing the script. Here we will have some back and forth until you're happy. Most of the stuff I'm working on doesn't have a script right now. Pre-production. Now we organize and plan everything before your shooting day. This includes everything from finding locations to assembling the right team for the job. Pre-production, we all know, isn't this simple. It's a lot more than this, but let's just keep it super simple for the client right now. Shooting day. After we finalize the script and everything is organized, it's finally time to shoot. And this is where it gets important because, and quite long and a bit packed in my uh, document, number five is editing rough cut. Here we create version one of the video. In this version, you can expect the audio, colors, and timing of the edit to be rough. Just like a sculptor chips away at a large block of stone, we must do the same with our video material, just digitally. So don't worry, this is the first step before refining your video. The reason why I give this analogy is because if you know nothing about video editing, it sounds a little bit more digestible, like a sculptor chipping away at a large block of stone. First revision. We will then send version one to you for feedback. As there are only three rounds of editing, make sure to take your time and write your notes thoughtfully about the things you would like to be adjusted. These are the changes we are open to making. Cuts, adding and excluding shots, titles, call to actions, music. The type of changes within this round cannot be altered afterwards. Before we go on to actually second revision, I just wanna say, on stage number six, when I'm saying the first draft, to them. I always send them an email that is stating extremely clearly how I would like them to give me feedback. This is super important because a lot of people don't know how to give feedback, especially if that's, if it, not, especially if it's their first time English doing videos. So what I suggest is that you send an email here where you cover these things. The format is generally the time code, then the description, and then the format for the description is this. I ask for what they don't like about it, not sure about this shot, looks a little bit too fake. And then I ask them to give me a suggestion. Maybe you could add something with a happy person. Maybe you could add the picture of something here. I also remind the client here that in the first revision, no color grading has been added, no sound design has been added, 
and that no VFX has been added. Just so that's super clear, because quite frankly, it's really tough to communicate that to a client. The vision that you have in your head is super clear and for you makes so much sense, but obviously they don't know what direction it's going. So onto the next part. Second revision, our goal this round is to get all of the images we want in place. After implementing your feedback, we now have version two. We will then send you version two and you give us feedback. You get the point. Third revision, we will then add visual effects, sound effects, subtitles, and color grading. We then send you version three. I'm speaking here for videographers, people running smaller productions here. This is not necessarily the process for larger productions. So please take that into account. Number nine, send us your notes and feedback about version three, the one with all of the pretty colors and sound effects. We'll then fine tune the video, creating our final version four. This is important now, here we go. Additional adjustments after this stage will be charged at a rate of 113.75 euros per hour. I'll let you know how I got to that number in a second. Let's take, for example, a day rate of 650 euros. So we do 650, and then we times that by 1.4, which equals 910. Why 1.4? Because I wanna increase my rate by 40%, and so that makes it 910 euros, and then I divide that by eight, which makes 113.75. You can do this with yours. You can take your daily rate, times it by 1.5, 1.6. Depends how much you wanna charge. It's up to you, it's solely up to you. So in brief, you're charging a higher hourly rate for the revisions. The reason why this hourly rate is higher than your normal hourly rate is because you're basically deterring the client from giving you revisions. But at the same time, if they wanted to do it, you're also profiting because you are getting paid a good hourly rate. Done, your video is ready to go out to the world. We'll send you a link to download your file and our aim is to make the process as streamlined as possible. So please contact us if there is anything you are unsure of. Of course, make sure that the deliverables that you're gonna edit are very, very clearly defined up front. There is nothing worse than having to make more deliverables and realize that you're going into the time that you need for your next editing project. Yo, I'm just realizing this now that I never explained how one should go about doing revisions if they do engage in a revision. So let's say a client asks me for changes, I will happily do the changes and I send them this email saying, yo, I think this is gonna take me, I do add the yo in there sometimes. This is gonna take me around half a day to do or a day to do. So I set their expectation for the revisions. That way they're not surprised when I invoice them and maybe it's one or two hours more than they expected, but they're also happy if it's one or two hours less than I predicted. So this is sort of an important thing is to make sure that you suggest upfront if you're gonna do revisions that you should mention how long you think it's gonna take. Now that can only come from you personally and from your own experience. I will always advise to budget longer hours than need be. And if you do it in less hours, then that is great. Anyways, have a lovely day. Take it easy. Um, peace. Catch you in the next video.